Bella's Pizza Pie by Diana Murray, art by Zachariah O'Hara. Bella stretched the pizza dough and tossed it with a spin. When Hedgehog peeked inside the door, she told him, come on in. Bella spread the pizza sauce and layered on the cheese. When Badger stopped to wave hello, she said, come join us, please. Bella baked the pizza pie, then Mole knocked on the door. Come and join us, Bella said. There's plenty here for four. Bella sat the pizza down and sprinkled it with spice. She split it once, she split it twice, and each friend had a slice. Best Friends by Mimi Brodsky Chenfeld. Art by Elena Selivanova. Miss Dandy and Miss Peterson are on their way to tea. Miss Peterson is 75. Miss Dandy just turned three. Miss Peterson wears a feathered hat. Miss Dandy wears her crown. They always get dressed up like that when they take their tea in town. Miss Dandy licks a lollipop. Miss Peterson shares her cheese. They nibble muffins, sip their tea, and say thank you and please. After tea, the friends agree. Let's play in Pine Tree Park. They climb and swing. They slide and sing until the sky grows dark. Home again, they say goodbyes with a kiss on Miss Dandy's cheek. Her friend glides out the door and calls, See you in a week! Bubble Fun by Marianne Mitchell Art by Amy Wummer Maria and Dad went to the Children's Museum. Maria ran to the bubble exhibit. She dipped a wand into soapy water. She blew gently, and big bubbles flew out. Look at the bubbles, said Maria. Maria found a table with more bubbles. She made a bubble mountain. Look at the mountain, she said. Then she painted with colored bubbles. Look at my painting, said Maria. Next, she stepped into a circle. She pulled a cord. A hoop rose up, making a bubble around her. What fun, she said. When it was time to go, she saw a sign. It said, please come again. Can we come back? Asked Maria. Yes, said Dad. Bucky Builds a Bookcase by David L. Roper, art by Logan S. Klein. Wormy looked at the books scattered everywhere. I can't find my big book of worm jokes, he wailed. We need a bookcase said Mortimer. Bucky, will you build us one? asked Squirmy. Sure, said Bucky. He found his tools and got to work. When he finished, Bucky asked, what color shall I paint it? Paint it yellow like the sun or orange like a pumpkin, said Squirmy. No, paint it blue like the sky or red like strawberries, said Wormy. I think it should be purple like grapes or green like grass, 
Wormy said, it has to be blue or red. Squirmy frowned. No, yellow or orange, he cried. Wait a minute, said Mortimer. I have an idea. Maybe Bucky could paint it blue and red and yellow and orange and green and purple. Hmm, said Bucky. I can try. The three little worms thought it was the most beautiful bookcase in the whole world. It had plenty of room for all their books. And Wormy finally found his big book of worm jokes. Getting Ready by Marianne Mitchell Art by Katie Kath Gina and her dad were shopping for school supplies. You'll need some pencils, said dad. From a big jar, Gina counted out four pencils. One, two, three, four pencils. In the next aisle, Gina found glue and scissors. Look, glue and scissors. She picked up a package of colored paper and said, I need paper. Then she added a box of crayons. I need crayons. You have a lot of things. You'll need something to carry them all, said dad. Gina nodded. I need a backpack. She picked out a bright red backpack and put all her school supplies inside. When they paid for everything, the clerk gave Gina a sticker. You can put this on your new backpack, she said. Gina smiled. Thanks. Happy birthday by Marianne Mitchell. Art by Julie Olson. Tom and Lucy went to Anna's party. Happy birthday, Anna, said Tom. Happy birthday, said Lucy. This present is for you, said Tom. Thank you, said Anna. How old are you today, asked Lucy. Anna held up five fingers. I'm five years old. You can help us play a game, said Anna's mom. We are trying to break the piñata. Let me try, said Tom. You get five swings with the bat, said Anna. Everyone counted. One! Two, three, four, five. Pow! The piñata broke. Yay! Candy for everyone, cried Tom. Hello, Spring, by Mary Ann Mitchell. Art by Yana Christie. Mandy and Ben were playing outside. A butterfly floated by Mandy's nose. She said, hello, butterfly. Ben marched beside a line of ants. He said, hello, ants. In the garden, flowers swayed in the breeze. Mandy said, hello, flowers. Ben watched a bird hop across the grass. He said, hello, bird. Plop, plop, plop. It started to rain. Mandy and Ben watched the rain splash into puddles. Mandy said, hello, rain. And Ben said, hello, spring. Pizza. Bye. Don King, art by Mary Sullivan. Pizza, pizza, pizza. We like it hot or cold. Pizza, pizza, pizza. For people young and old. 
Pizza, pizza, pizza. Give the dough a toss. Pizza, pizza, pizza. Now spread on the sauce. Pizza, pizza, pizza. Sprinkle lots of cheese. Pizza, pizza, pizza. Add pepperoni, please. Pizza, pizza, pizza. Have a slice or two. Pizza, pizza, pizza. Enough for me and you. The Thank You Pie by Mary Quattlebaum. Art by Amy Bates. This pumpkin pie looks awfully plain, said Mom. It should look special for Thanksgiving. Candles make a birthday cake look special, said Sarah. Let's add candles to the pie. When you light them, we can each say what we're thankful for. What a good idea, said Mom. So Danny and Sarah put four candles on the pie. When Mom lit the red candle, Dad said, I'm thankful for our family. I'm thankful for our home said Mom as she lit the orange candle. Mom lit the yellow candle, and Sarah said, I'm thankful for my friends. The green one's mine, said Danny. He stared at the tiny flame and then said, I'm thankful for our food, especially this thank you pie. Everybody took a big breath. Whoosh! They blew out all the candles and sang, Happy Thanksgiving to us! Bow wow! Barked Buddy. Danny laughed. I think Buddy wants us to eat. Mom cut the thank you pie, and even Buddy had a piece. Peas, peas, peas. Bye. Nancy K. Wallace. Art by Mike Brownlow. Peas in the saucepan. Peas in my bowl. Peas falling off my fork. Watch them as they roll. Peas on the table. Peas on the floor. Peas bouncing, green and round, rolling toward the door. Peas going out the door. Peas down the steps. Peas in the flower beds. Where will they go next? Tumbling down the sidewalk, rolling in the street. Let's have mashed potatoes. Peas are hard to eat. I'm not sleepy. By Marianne Mitchell. Art by Julie Fortenberry. Maya was spending the night at Aunt Cecilia's house. It was almost time for bed. Aunt Cecilia said, I'm not sleepy. How do you get sleepy at home? Maya said, I put on my pajamas. So they put on their pajamas. I'm still not sleepy said Aunt Cecilia. What do we need now? Maya said, A glass of milk. So they each had a glass of milk. What next? Asked Aunt Cecilia. Maya handed her a book. A story! When she finished reading, Aunt Cecilia yawned. So did Maya. <sighs> oh my, said Aunt Cecilia. Are you sleepy? Maya rubbed her eyes. Yes, I'm sleepy. Me too, said Aunt Cecilia. Let's go to bed. And they did. Can't Sleep, Mama by Nancy White Carlstrom 
art by Katherine Kirkland. Can't sleep, Mama. Count sheep, Shauna. Tired of counting sheep, Mama. Go to sleep, Shauna. Not tired enough to sleep, Mama. Count pigs, Shauna. Big pigs, Mama? Any size, close your eyes, Shauna. They're keeping me awake, Mama. What, Shauna? The pigs. They're squealing, Mama. Count cows, Shauna. They're mooing, Mama. Count horses, Shauna. They're neighing, Mama. Count chickens, Shauna. Can't, Mama. Are they peeping, Shauna? No, they're sleeping, Mama. Good night, Shauna. Jose's New Bed by Marianne Mitchell. Art by Jennifer Morris. How do you and Little Bear like your new bed? Asked Dad. Jose said, It's very big. He sat on the bed with his stuffed bear. Jose said, Little Bear is cold. Dad tucked Jose and Little Bear under the blanket. Jose put his head down on the pillow. He said, Little Bear wants a story. Dad read Jose and Little Bear a bedtime story. Dad turned out the light. Jose said, Little Bear wants a light. So Dad turned on the night light. Jose closed his eyes and said, Little Bear is sleepy. Sweet dreams, Jose, said Dad. Sweet dreams, Little Bear. Little Bunny Stays Up Late by Eileen Spinelli, art by Rosemary Berlin. One Friday, Aunt B came for a visit. She played ball with Little Bunny. Aunt B and Mama baked brownies together. Little Bunny helped. Aunt B and Papa told silly jokes. Little Bunny laughed. Then it was Little Bunny's bedtime. He did not want to go to bed. He did not want to miss any of the fun. He wanted to stay up as late as the grown-ups. Just this once, Mama said to him. Little Bunny listened while Aunt Bee and Papa talked about the new grocery store in town. He watched while Aunt Bee and Mama knitted socks. The grown-ups talked and talked and talked. When Aunt B finally left, a tired little bunny went off to bed. Little bunny slept till noon the next day. He slept through pancakes for breakfast and his favorite morning cartoon show. When little bunny found out about all the fun he missed, he said, no more late nights for me. Night Walk by Marianne Mitchell. Art by James Bernardin. One night, Rosa and Dad walked home in the dark. Rosa held tight to Dad's hand. It's very dark, she said. Let's look for lights, said Dad. He pointed to the moon. The moon has light. He said. Rosa looked up. Stars twinkled in the sky. The stars have light, she said. 
They passed a street lamp. The lamp has light, said Dad. A bright yellow porch light welcomed them home. It's my favorite light, said Rosa. Mine too, said Dad. One Dark Night by S. Diane Moritz, art by Priscilla Lamont. One dark but moonlit night, as it was getting late, old MacDonald's friends sat by the barnyard gate. Cat said, Meow, it's spooky here tonight. Sheep said, Bah, I like the soft moonlight. Chick said, Beep, there's a chill in the air. Duck said, Quack, I see shadows everywhere. Cow said, Moo. I'm glad I'm not alone. Goat said, Shh, I think I hear a moan. Horse said, Nay, look, monsters on the loose. Donkey said, Relax, you silly little goose. Rooster said, Yikes, that's Frankenstein and a little white ghost is creeping close behind. Then, old MacDonald's friends scrambled out of sight as little trick-or-treaters roamed happily in the night. Family Picnic by Mary Ann Mitchell, art by Jan Bryan Hunt. Leo took his new camera to the family picnic. His cousins were playing soccer. Big smile, said Leo. Click, went the camera. Uncle Jack was cooking hot dogs. Big smile, said Leo. Click, went the camera. Grandma was sitting at the table. Big smile, said Leo. Click, went the camera. Aunt Paulina brought cookies. Big smile, said Leo. Click, went the camera. After lunch, Leo printed out the pictures. Here are my cousins, said Leo. Here is Uncle Jack. Here is Aunt Paulina. Here is Grandma. Dad picked up the camera. Big smile. Leo gave a big smile. Click, went the camera. We're Scary by Marianne Mitchell. Art by Angela Roselar. Andy and his friends looked out the window. It was still raining. So Andy brought out a box of old clothes. Carlos found a puffy jacket and some very big boots. He put the jacket on his head and stomped around in the giant boots and cried, I'm a giant. Then he growled, I'm big. <laughs> Pete liked the green swim goggles and fins. He put them on and said, I'm a monster. Then he flexed his monster muscles and roared, I'm strong. Andy pulled on a raggedy bathrobe. He thought the long belt would make a great dinosaur tail. He asked his mom to help him pin some gloves on it. Then he said, I'm a dinosaur. He swished his tail and cried, I'm big and strong. Look, said mom, the sun is out. You scared away the rain. So the scary things ran outside <laughs> <Yeah>. to play. <laughs> Who will play with me? Story and art by Valerie Gorbachev. Hey, Bert, said Beth. 
Do you want to play animals with me? Not now. I'm building, said Bert. Grandpa, will you play animals with me? Asked Beth. Sure, said Grandpa. I love animals. But why aren't you playing with Bert? Because I want to play with my animals. He wants to build with his blocks. I have an idea, said Grandpa. Let's go talk to Bert. They went to the bedroom, and Grandpa said, Bert, how about building a zoo for Beth's animals? That's a great idea, Grandpa. Come on, Beth. Let's play together. And they did all afternoon. The Big Picture by Marianne Mitchell. Art by April Stott. Carmela and Carlos were making a chalk drawing on the driveway. Carmela said, I'm drawing flowers. She added more flowers. Carlos said, I'm drawing animals. Carmela said, I'm drawing a sun. Mom came out to see the big picture. She said, how pretty. I wish Grandma could see this. Carmela got her camera. She said, it's possible. Click went her camera. Inside, Mom loaded the photo onto the computer. Click! Off went the email. A few minutes later, Grandma sent Carlos and Carmela an email. It's very pretty. Thank you. The Box House by David L. Roper Art by Robert Squire Poppy pulls a new TV from a box and puts it on the TV stand. Let's throw away the box, he says. But Elijah has an idea. Let's make a house, he says. Good idea, says Poppy. When the house is finished, Elijah crawls in the door and peeks out all the windows. What kind of house is it? asks Poppy. It's a firehouse, Elijah says. Elijah has another idea. He goes into the house and looks out a window. Can I take your order, Poppy? He asks. I'll have a hamburger and lemonade, says Poppy. Coming right up says Elijah. He hands an imaginary hamburger and lemonade to Poppy. Mmm, says Poppy. Very good. Poppy looks at the clock. "Uh Uh-oh, he says. It's almost time for your mother to pick you up, and your toys are all over the floor. Where can we put them? I know, says Elijah. At night, my house can be a toy shop. How do you grow? By Marcia Diane Arnold. Art by Bernard Oberdijk. Little duck, little duck, how do you grow? With wiggles and waddles, and time for duck dawdles with splashes and splishes and dragonfly wishes and a downy warm nest by the lilies. Little fox, little fox, how do you grow? By leaps and by bounds and mother earth sounds, by quiet white snowflakes and nuzzles at daybreak and a soft secret den in the meadow. Little child, little child, how do you grow? With swinging and swaying 
and all day long playing with jump ropes and mud pies and bear hugs at sunrise and a story or three before bedtime.